Welcome to the Unearthing Civilizations podcast, where we delve into the fascinating world of archaeology and history. I'm your host, and today we're journeying into the dense jungles of northern Guatemala, where a groundbreaking discovery has been made that could rewrite the history of the Americas. This is a journey into the past, a journey of discovery, and a journey that will open our eyes to the wonders of ancient civilizations. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this exciting journey together. In May 2023, scientists uncovered a staggering 417 cities dating back to around 1000 BC, all interconnected by nearly 110 miles of what researchers are calling the first freeway system in the world. This discovery, detailed in an article published by the Washington Post, suggests that the ancient Maya civilization was far more advanced than previously thought. The cities, ceremonial complexes, hydraulic systems, and agricultural infrastructure challenged the accepted idea that the people of the mid to late preclassic Maya civilization were merely hunter-gatherers. Richard Hansen, the lead author of the study and an affiliate research professor of archaeology at Idaho State University, explains that the preclassic period was one of extraordinary complexity and architectural sophistication, with some of the largest buildings in world history being constructed during this time. The discovery was made using LiDAR technology, an advanced type of radar that reveals things hidden by dense vegetation and the tree canopy. When scientists digitally removed the trees that cloaked the area, the LiDAR images revealed ancient dams, reservoirs, pyramids, and ball courts. Among the multi-story temples, buildings, and roads, images of Balamnal, one of the preclassic civilization's crucial hubs, were revealed for the first time. It dates back to 1,000 or possibly 2,000 years before the most famous, and well-excavated, Maya site of Chichen Itza in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, which was constructed in the early AD 400s. The LiDAR images raise questions about how, one society living in a tropical jungle in Central America became one of the greatest ancient civilizations in the world, while, another society living in Borneo is still hunting and gathering in the exact same environment, Hansen says. Enrique Hernandez, an archaeologist at San Carlos University in Guatemala City and a co-author of the paper, believes that once the area is fully revealed, it could be potentially as significant a marker in human history as the pyramids in Egypt. However, he also emphasizes the importance of preserving the site. We can save it now. This is the right moment to do it, Hernandez says. He envisions a future where El Mirador could become a significant tourist site, a national monument, or an area returned to modern-day Mayans and other indigenous Guatemalans. The discovery of these ancient cities and their sophisticated infrastructure paints a vivid picture of a highly organized and advanced society. It suggests a bustling civilization, with cities connected by extensive road networks, and a society capable of constructing large buildings and complex hydraulic systems. The reasons for the decline of this civilization are still a matter of debate among historians and archaeologists, but common theories include environmental changes, warfare, and social upheaval. This discovery not only provides a deeper understanding of the ancient Mayan civilization but also underscores the advanced socio-economic organization and political power of these communities. It's a testament to the fact that even after thousands of years, there are still new discoveries to be made and new insights to be gained about our world's history. To further understand the significance of this discovery, we delve into a paper titled, Geospatial Revolution and Remote Sensing LiDAR in Mesoamerican Archaeology, published in 2012. The paper discusses how LiDAR, a laser-based remote sensing technology, is generating a fundamental shift in Mesoamerican archaeology and has the potential to transform research in forested areas worldwide. The technology has been instrumental in revealing the ancient Maya civilization's urban centers, agricultural terracing, and causeways. The LiDAR data from Caracol, a major Maya archaeological site, provided a complete landscape of the ancient city, showcasing the accuracy of the methodology. The data confirmed and visually demonstrated Caracol's scale, depicting a sprawling Maya city replete with markets, roads, and almost continuous agricultural terracing. This confirmed the archaeological data that indicated a massive population focused on sustainability and site-wide integration. These data securely place Caracol, presumably along with some other ancient Maya cities, into a tropically defined phenomenon known as low-density urbanism. LiDAR has changed the way in which archaeologists view ancient Mesoamerica. With LiDAR coverage of the Mesoamerican landscape, 
interpretations of spatial organization no longer need to be based on a small survey sample of an undefined larger universe or require extensive on-the-ground penetration of forest canopy. LiDAR can remove preconceptions about ancient size, scale, and complexity effectively by providing a complete view of the topography and ancient modifications to the environment. For Caracol, LiDAR clearly reveals the massive population and aerial extent of the settlement, confirming its position as one of the major sites of the late classic Maya world and visually demonstrating a broad-scale integrative socio-political organization only hinted at in models generated from the Maya hieroglyphic record and ethno-history. The spatial distributions of settlement and other constructed features can be conjoined with archaeological and epigraphic materials to answer questions about the organization of Maya polities. LiDAR also provides a spatial canvas on which archaeological insights into the physical population structure of ancient Mesoamerican societies can be better displayed. Radiocarbon dating provided a firm framework for an initial transformational change by permitting archaeologists to place ancient remains and activities accurately in time. LiDAR is causing an equally significant transformation in archaeology by permitting researchers to document accurately the ancient use of space, at broad scales and irrespective of overlying vegetation. Archaeologists in the tropics no longer are restricted to limited sampling from a largely unknown universe covered by enveloping canopy, LiDAR provides them with the ability to contextualize on-the-ground survey and excavation within a much larger landscape. LiDAR technology produces point cloud data that can be turned into high-resolution digital elevation models DEMs, of the bare earth or surface beneath any tree canopy. These points are best comprehended visually with digital enhancement of lighting to emulate shadows, one technique is called hill shading. Hill shaded DEMs provide detailed renderings of both archaeological remains and the overall topography. By providing accurate, extensive, and detailed spatial data, LiDAR is far superior to traditional mapping undertaken with a transit, alidade, or total station and has begun to supplant these techniques. LiDAR point cloud data have significant implications for heritage management, site documentation, and conservation in an increasingly urbanized world. LiDAR can be used to locate illegal digging or looting because it effectively images linear trenches and single depressions. It also can be used to measure deforestation more accurately than satellite-based systems, thus becoming an exceedingly valuable aid in forestry management. LiDAR can be used to monitor site destruction and canopy removal by creating time sequent imagery that can be compared, analyzed, and measured. In conclusion, the discovery of these ancient cities and the use of advanced technology like LiDAR to uncover them is a testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a reminder that our understanding of history is always evolving, and that there are still countless mysteries waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of archaeology and history in our next episode. Until then, goodbye.